It is official. The Pittsburgh Steelers have sadly announced that they have placed injured cornerback Corey Trace Jr., who got hurt in yesterday's practice, on injury reserve, which is now ending his season. Also in the news, the Steelers have signed two more players after placing Corey Trace on injury reserve and officially waiving Alfonso Graham, who also dealt with an injury just a few days ago. It has still not been released what exactly his injury is, whether it's ACL, Achilles, or something else, but it was released by Mike Tomlin yesterday that Corey Strace Jr. was dealing with a leg slash knee injury and was carted off in a cart, and now today, it's officially announced that he's out for season. This is actually really sad news because Corey Trace Jr., he fell in the draft due to injuries, injury concern. But my perspective on it, even though he was an injury concerned player and that's why he fell to the 7th round and the Steers selected him, sometimes injuries happen and it's just not connected together. So you can't just blame someone for being injury prone or falling in the draft due to injuries if the injury that they suffered are two completely random injuries that can just happen out of the blue without your control. But just Corey Trace Jr. as a whole, he was one player and one rookie I was one of the most looking forward to watching play this season. Because when you look at all the draft analysis out there, whenever they talk about the Steelers draft, the one person they mention as a steal and a value pick was the seventh rounder. Corey Trice because they thought that he could have went in the fourth round if it wasn't due to those concerns but he went in the seventh and that was really a good value pick for the Steelers and even though he missed a lot of time in college due to injury he was just getting his groove back together and even in training camp OTAs and minicamp he is one of the players that had been reportedly standing out and actually performing higher than his value which was the seventh rounder he was someone who could have made an impact right away as a depth piece for the Pittsburgh Steelers as their fourth cornerback. Someone actually, if they gave an opportunity to, might have been actually able to step up. But it's really sad that Corey Trace Jr. is now going to be out for a season, but I wish him the best. Hopefully he battles back and is able to come back to his full self and be better than ever for the start of next season. I wish him all the best. So now, let me kind of introduce the new players the Pittsburgh Steelers have signed to their nanny man roster in light of this new injury to Corey Trice and also Alfonso Graham officially being weighed from the team. So let me just start there first. Alfonso Graham, just in case you don't know, he got injured a few days ago in training camp with a shoulder injury. He tore a labrum in his shoulder and he was going to miss this whole season. They did not place him on injury reserve and in his season, they actually waived him, meaning that he's not on the team anymore. So that freed up a roster spot. And the Pittsburgh Steelers, like I said, they placed Corey Trace on injury reserve. That means they opened up two roster spots, and in light of those moves, they signed two more players, a cornerback and also a safety. So the two people that they signed are safety Trenton Thompson and cornerback Isaiah Dunn. So I'm going to kind of introduce you to both those guys, who they are, what they came from, and maybe what they could bring to the Steelers team this season, or just fighting out for camp spot. First, I'll start off with their safety, Trenton Thompson, who they signed. He played at San Diego State in college, and he signed with the New York Giants as an undrafted rookie, free agent, following him going undrafted in the 2023 NFL Draft. He spent most of the 2022 season on the practice squad playing one game. He played in 57 games in college total at San Diego State. He started 31 of them, and he finished the season and his career with 191 tackles, 125 of them being solo stops, and 12 tackles for loss. He also finished his career with 4 interceptions, 2 forced fumbles, and a sack. So, he actually had quite a good production there when he was at San Diego State, playing safety for them. So, he joins the Steelers, and now he's going to be fighting out for a roster spot or a practice squad spot on the team so now let me just tell you about the cornerback we signed isaiah dunn so dunn he played at oregon state in college and he signed with the new york jets as an undrafted rookie free agent following the 2021 nfl draft so he went undrafted 
but he actually got an opportunity with the Jets. He played in 12 games for the Jets in his career and also spent time with the Seattle Seahawks, where he dressed for five games before injury finished the 2022 season. But at Oregon State, done, he played 33 total games, recording 115 tackles and 18 pass defense. So, he comes in, he didn't really have much production at the college level, he was injured much of his time in the NFL, so him coming to the Steelers, he's going to have to battle it out with the other quarterbacks. This opens up a spot because Corey Trace Jr. did get injured, so he's going to have a better chance to make the team, but he's still going to be fighting with all those other guys to make the roster to, for a practice squad spot and so on. So he's going to be in a battle with everyone else trying to get the extra spot now. Just my perspective of both these signings, just like I said a few days ago when the Steers signed Greg Bell and Lavette at the running back position, I said they're going to have a very hard time making the roster because they have three solid guys already on the team and unless Anthony, Anthony McFarland Jr. absolutely loses that number three running back spot, I believe that'll be his job to lose, meaning that those two guys won't have a chance to actually make the roster, maybe they'll fight for practice squad spot. And I believe it's the same for these two signings with Dunn and Thompson. Because the Steelers are kind of set at the cornerback position, even though Corey Trice Jr. more than likely was going to make the roster, the 53-man roster, there's still other guys on the team like James Pierre, Shannon Sullivan, who are probably going to take that spot and Thompson won't. And even for Dunn, the Dunn the safety group is kind of solid. They have guys there who already played safety at the NFL, have been productive in this league, so that he's going to have a hard time finding a spot as well. So Thompson and Dunn, those guys are going to probably be battling out with some other people on the team for a practice squad spot. I really don't see them making the main roster, but who knows, maybe they actually show out and become a productive player. But for now, those are just signings for depth pieces due to injury from Corey Trice and Alfonso Graham. So, like I said, Corey Trice Jr., he's out for a season, and that's a really sad thing because I was most looking forward to see what he could do for the Steelers and if he could be an impact player right away, straight out the gate in his rookie season. But now he won't have the chance, and his season is ended. If there's any more updates on what his actual injury is, I'll actually report that to you guys. But I told you guys from yesterday that I was going to update you if we get any further news. And we got further news that he's officially out for a season. I was hoping it wasn't the case, even though he got carted off and couldn't put any weight on his feet in practice. On the video yesterday I posted, it showed him limping off the field and being put in a cart. But I was hoping for the best, but obviously the best did not happen. And now he's going to have a speedy recovery and hopefully be better for next season and make a full recovery. But with that being said, that's the end of this video. Let me down in the comments below. Your thoughts on this whole situation of Corey Trace Jr. getting injured, being out for the season? Did you really like what he could bring to the team? Were you looking forward to watching him play? And is this a sad thing for you? But also, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on these two new signings of Dunn and Thompson to the roster. Do you believe they could actually have an impact on the team? Or do you believe they're just going to be depth pieces and probably not make the roster at all? Let me know your thoughts on this whole video down in the comments below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below as well. If you like Steer's content, analysis, and reports, like the video. Turn on post notifications down below for this channel as well. So you get notified when I post next year's video. Click that bell down below. If you want to stay up to date with everything Steelers, this is the best spot for it. I post every day and I make sure you're up to date with all the news that comes out. So... I kept you update with this injury and I'll keep you up to date on everything else going on in training camp and throughout the rest of the season and repeating the whole cycle to next off season. So like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll see you guys all later. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.